क्योंकि इससे पहले जब नहीं होती थी साइंस तो उस वक्त तो डिसीजन होते ही थे ना तो टू हैव ए रॉन्ग रिपोर्ट इज इज बेटर टू नॉट यूज एनी रिपोर्ट एट ऑल तो एक्चुअली द लेबोरेटरी वाज फर्स्ट फोरेंसिक लेबोरेटरी वाज बिल्ट इन ब्रिटिश इंडिया इन 1906 1906 में वन बर्ड वो रोड पे बनाई थी ब्रिटिश इट दैट वाज सर्विंग ऑल इंडिया इंडियन कॉन्टिनेंट including bangladesh uh, east pakistan so let me give you the concept why the in, uh, india was the head of even america at that time in america the first crime lab was established in 1935 that means india was 30 years ahead of america and now think where we are and where they are we never did in advancement at all till till we started this agency government of punjab 2007 the previous government in 2007 they made the act of uh, uh, forensic science agency by the punjab prevention assembly passed the act act of 2007 is book uh, it is mentioned in the book which you are getting there governor of but the uh, government of uh, uh, punjab in 2008 conceived vision scientific based transparent accountable thorough forensic analysis per international standards government of punjab established the state of the art world second largest full service forensic science laboratory under one roof in 2011 cost, uh, uh, costing 2.56 billion rupees This was the old laboratory which was built in two, uh, 1906. This is the new one. PFSA was solely funded by the government of Punjab. There is no foreign funding. There is no provincial funding. It's all Punjab people of Punjab's blood and sweat uh, put into this place. PFSA became fully functional in March 2011 and commenced working in 14 forensic disciplines. Highly qualified scientists with minimum of MPhil or PhD degrees were selected and they were taken to United States for training because we did not have a seed of forensic science in Pakistan at all. So they were <laughs> given a training in different disciplines. these scientists regularly sent to usa uk australia germany switzerland czech republic for short refresher courses because <coughs> every scientist must go for continuing education once a year in their respective discipline because whatever new advancement came in this year we must learn that to keep up with international standards in this laboratory we <coughs> do every test which any laboratory in united states doing we are not different at all with them and to keep up with that we have to learn new knowledge what is achieved in one year due to the professionalism pfsa has earned confidence of judiciary stakeholders in criminal justice system federal agencies international community and general public PFSA being the sole institution is providing forensic expertise all across Pakistan its outreach has been ex- uh, expanded through eight divisional satellite stations because uh, as you know you are the people who use our reports in the court and 
there is a very little confidence in police. So until unless police, uh, public has a confidence in, in our report, these reports cannot be uh, considered uh, in the uh, eye of, uh, eyes of public. So what we did is because police cannot manipulate evidence, Punjab government has eight satellite stations. We are, they are working 24 hours, seven days in every division of Punjab. Any crime which happens, we are called to go to the crime scene. Our scientists pick evidence and pack it, bring it to the laboratory. So that police, we are trying to eliminate that uh, issue, that uh, uh, credibility issue. Establish a PFSA was to an unflinching support of the government of Punjab, cabinet committee, and on law and order and allied government agencies. This is a few pictures of during establishment. What you see uh, outside there, before the establishment, there was nothing. There, all these trees you see, they are, uh, their life is five years old. There was nothing, not even a bush. Achievement. Accreditation of PFSA. PFSA has been following ISO 17025 standards since inception because since uh, it's, uh, we started this agency, we have been following international standards. Accreditation is mandatory for transparency, public confidence, confidence of judiciary, <laughs> and accountability in forensic laboratories. Internationally, uh, accreditation is generally attained after 10 to 12 years. It takes for existing labs. We were new. We have to start. So, but the existing labs which are working usually takes 10 to 12 years. However, dedication and huge workload enabled PFSA to attain accreditation in record span of five years. We are talking international accreditation. We're not talking from here. Our reports are accepted throughout the world. Process of accreditation. Pre-assessment carried out by United Kingdom Accreditation Services. Final assessment carried out by the technical expert from Czech Republic, Lithuania, and Pakistan National Accreditation Council. ISO 17 to accreditation section, firearm tool marks, latent fingerprint, and question documents. These are the final, final remarks of the assessor who came to assess us from Czech Republic. It was the first time in 10 years I have known of an organization going for assessment and to only have one minor non-compliance out of 228 clauses. PFS is a role model for the other organizations all over the world. These are the 14 different disciplines which uh, we have at the PFSA. Uh, audiovisual analysis, crime scene investigation, computer forensics, death scene investigation, forensic DNA and serology, firearm tool marks, latent fingerprint, narcotics, pathology, histology, question documents, forensic photography, polygraph, trace chemistry, and toxicology. These are the number of cases so far. We have uh, received 442,000 cases in the laboratory. 429,000 reports have been generated in this laboratory. We receive approximately 100,000 cases per year, which is not actually actual case load. There is a lot more cases, but I have never seen any lab in the world which can carry this much work workload. Not a single lab. I worked in several labs in U.S. and visited more than 50, 150 labs. We cannot see any lab which handles this much caseload. Our backlog is about, you can see, 2.3 percent. But uh, when we go to the courts, courts always ask us, Oh, there's a backlog. This is fact of life. Backlog is a fact of life. No laboratory in the world is without backlog. And then I compared the European labs and American labs. What is their backlog? Okay, I can tell you, but uh, they didn't put the slide in. 
our United States Department of Justice took the survey of 130 labs in USA to see how much backlog they have. Their backlog is 34%. Our is 2.3%. And we are still saying, oh, there are backlog, there's a backlog. But when we, there is no case, I tell the judiciary also, that there is no case that if we are informed in time, we will take that case out of line and we will finish the case be, uh, and we will meet the court date. And I don't think I can see a single case where we did not meet the deadline. But uh, still, I don't know why there is a complaint about that, but you all know how much is a, is a court backlog in Punjab. Forensic DNA analysis. Forensic DNA analysis is a, te a technology that identifies particular individuals using properties of their DNA. It is the most powerful crime fighting tool we have at our disposal. Forensic DNA analysis is a powerful scientific tool in solving murder, rape, and property crimes and other <laughs> rape, gang rape, murder, sodomy, dead body identifications, parentage testing. <coughs> Prerogative evidence is one that has a legal and logical value in solving crimes. The best evidence occurs when a victim's or suspect's DNA is found where it is not supposed to be or where information does not support contact having ever occurred between the victim and the suspect. Soil sent for blood serology is not probative evidence. You all know that we always get soil which is uh, uh, loaded with blood and that soil is taken underneath the body. What evidential value that thing, I've been asking the courts, why are we spending money, time, we can spend that time on a in case which is going to generate something. To do the a one sample of DNA, you know how much it cost? 150,000 rupees. Dear lakh sample pe aata hai. So why are we wasting resources? A soil, jo soil mein blood bhej rahi hai. Murder cases ke. Haan, to wo courts maangti hai ke ji hume chahiye. Kyo chahiye, mujhe ye nahi samajha. Dead body padi hai blood mein. To kiska blood hoga ho? We want to see if it's human blood. I couldn't understand. If I tell somebody, my colleagues in America, they will laugh at me. So, Mr. Pazuka, this is also that if you kill someone, 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 you kill you Daddy can be transferred to a primary crime scene, secondary, tertiary crime scene. Can be loaded in a car, that is secondary, and then tertiary can be loaded in a car. That's okay. But when body is suicide, homicide, if it's in the house, if it's in the house, the body has been put in a blood pool. They put it in a pot and say, is it human blood? And what happens in that? Sources of biological evidence, blood, semen, saliva, urine, hair, teeth, bone, tissue, all cells except red blood cells. Any place where human touch is there, there is a DNA, there is DNA. Uh, these are not the only thing, just uh, there's so many things that contain DNA. Uh, basic thing is that, uh, just to give you an idea, for example, now you, have, you are holding cell phone, there is a DNA you are transferring. You are wearing ring, there is a DNA, bracelet, eyeglasses, earrings, anything which touches body is going to leave some cells and we can detect in a way. So types of evidence which we get, for example, clothing, blouses, undergarments, sexual assault, rapes and murders, bedding, blankets, bed sheets, pillow covers, rapes and so these are things which we receive. Carpets, analyzed for biological evidence. Car and car seats, kidnapping, carjacking, and rapes. Guns for blood 
and association made in assault, battery, homicide, shoes, almost all type of cases, cigarette butts, lot of DNA on the cigarette butts, hairs, bones, teeth, fingernails, very important piece of evidence, a fingernail during sexual assault or a, a murder because there will be struggle. During struggles, a person who is going to be uh, dying, they have a survival, they are going to scratch. There is a fingernail, they collect some cells underneath and we can get, that's important. That's, this is the piece of, you will find the DNA of the attacker underneath the fingernail of a dead victim or sexual assault victim. So this is, these are the things which we need to do that so that we can make associations. So where this where dead person DNA, why it's in the fingernails? So these are the things that we need to uh, teach, but again, uh, we get some semen stains, vaginal secretions, very important piece of evidence in a lot of cases. Caps, toothbrushes, stamps and envelopes, earrings, nasal secretion, <coughs> ear wax, watches, coffee cups, soft drink cans, beer bottles, etc., shirt, Toothpicks, eyeglasses, hearing aid, condoms, saliva stains, finger rings, bracelets, telephones, cell phones, computer key keyboard, steering wheel and hard, uh, dashboard, forks and spoons. Somebody ate uh, with a fork or spoon. Yes, we can find out who ate with that. Uh, dead pits and mango stones, gun uh, triggers and magazines. We have, uh, I think the last couple of months, we have uh, ATC judges here. They were from, uh, I think, KPK and uh, Sandh probably, 32 <coughs> of them. So to make them aware, it's very important that we uh, to teach, uh, educate judges, uh, judiciary also, what we do. What is DNA? A lot of people do not know. What can we do? What does the DNA mean? So we serve them a tea in the morning. It was sponsored by the British uh, uh, High Commission office. They sponsored that course for judges. <coughs> when we were serving a tea, I told them that uh, cup which you're drinking a tea with, mark your cup with one, two, three, four, whatever. And save the number with you. Don't tell anybody. But the, the, tomorrow we will tell you which cup did you drink a, a tea from. So I was the sponsor of the British High Commission, the guy who says, oh, no, 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 if we fail. I said, then if we fail, we don't deserve to do this work at all. So we told them, and uh, 32 judges at the end of it, everybody was identified right, uh, rightfully. That's the confidence people should have. <coughs> Rules of biological level of criminal identify a person, exclude a person. DNA is not only to go put people behind bars. It is equally good to exonerate people. By the way, when I was in the United States, our exoneration was about 32-33%. People, when people, police bring evidence or people suspect we eliminate, these are not the guys. But once somebody, let me tell you the difference between here and there. Once I have DNA analysis done, if I find this person is eliminated, is exonerated, you know what, I'm, first thing I'll call the prosecutor, I would say, is this person in jail? They say, yes, if he's a person in jail, I would say, he's exonerated, report will take five to seven days, I would like you to take him out of the prison. I have never been asked that why, he will go, or he or she will go to the court and get the court order. Within a few hours, that person will be released. That's the process there. I heard there somebody now has some people arrested. <coughs> oh, they have been wandering around for maybe how many days? Since after the bail has been granted, how many days after the bail grant? Three days already. Three days already. And maybe three or four days more. <laughs> seven days. Over there, it, this process which I'm talking, it's f half an hour to two hours, that's all. And nobody ever questioned, you know, you, you may have taken the money. Never ever. 
link weapon to the victim link witness to the uh, scene prove or disprove statement uh, reconstruct the crime scene provide investigative leads post conviction dna testing what is post conviction it's not here it is in united states because there was a when dna technology was not implemented in uh, in the crime laboratory in at that time people were convicted with other evidence not fixing like we have here the professional witnesses no it is the fault of technology at that time they didn't have technology they, what we have currently so they were convicted but those were in jails and they were claiming that we are innocent so the federal government started a program which is called innocent project federal government gave 5 billion dollars distributed to the laboratories that because we have fresh cases a lot of them we don't have time to do 30 years old case or 20 years old case so they say okay we will give you the money you hire new people they will only do those cases but we will audit them you don't use those chemicals or manpower for your new cases but they will be used on old cases as a result so far it started and but what they do is because everybody says i am innocent but then they they distribute to the law schools the law schools professor will review their files with the students and then if they find something they will recommend that this should be post uh, conviction dna analysis should be granted to that and then the court will look at that and then court will order you okay now this case qualifies for post conviction dna analysis so far uh, more than 450 people have been exonerated by dna which were convicted without technology some of them spent 30 years in jail out of those 32 people which are taken out were on death row dna exonerated them so that's important that can tell you what is the how much this dna is important for us the out of these 400 i have handled myself four of them 200th examination i can tell you one of them was 200 and i was 400 something that was jerry miller his name was jerry miller he was the guy who was convicted in 1981 for rape sexual assault kidnapping five charges on him and he was sentenced 45 years in jail in 2005 he i received a call from defense attorney his attorney that my client is innocent i would like to have post conviction done i called uh, the prosecutor i say this person called because we cannot accept evidence from defense counsel or anybody we can refer okay now process started prosecutor will take over the evidence and they will submit to us or a police will submit resubmit the evidence they submitted the evidence the evidence was only one glass smear smear is when we have a swab they take vaginal swab and put it on the glass slide and that's the only evidence after 26 years he spent in jail when we tested i tested exoneration he is not the man he is taken out but now we have a dna profile somebody did it we have a system there which i want to establish here that uh, put it upload into the system in 5 minutes i have the real guy robert week we do not take blood now when we have dna we can take oral swab the way is taken oral swab then we we get there's tons of dna reference samples reference samples are collected from suspects and victim for comparison with question a crime scene samples suspects victims elimination samples husband sample if in sexual assault case we will take the sample for elimination from husband if she is married then we will take sample so that we can eliminate his profile out of the whole profile <coughs> toxicology the science of detecting and identifying the presence of drugs and poisons in the body fluid tissue and organs 
This is used in uh, for uh, suspicious deaths. Postmodern toxicology types of cases: suspected drug intoxication, fire deaths, homicides, suicide, driver and pilot fatalities, therapeutic drug monitoring, sudden infant death. Question document: the document that are in a dispute in court of law are called question documents. You all know probably you have been handling this kind of cases. What we do uh, get, we can uh, checks, handwriting, we indentation, there's a lot more we can do things. Common question documents, property uh, registry, letters, checks, contact contracts, wills, marriage certificate, divorce papers, contract agreements, passport travel documents, threatening letters, suicide notes, travel licenses, and others. Cases involving cash and documents, forgery, counterfeiting, mail fraud, kidnapping, embezzlement, organized crime, white collar crime, robbery, art crimes, theft, arson. Arson is fire for profit. There's a fire is a regular fire accidental. The thing that deliberately set to gain a benefit is arson. Burglary, homicide, serial murder, different sex crimes. Trace evidence, glass, hair, fibers, tape, tire tracks, paint, soil, gunshot residue, shoe prints, unknown material, explosives. What crimes explosive involved in Bang explosion, building and, and demolition, terrorism, extra planes. Crime scene investigation, the process to use the physical evidence at crime scene and use reasoning to gain a knowledge of events and surrounding of crime scene. Crime scene investigation is multidisciplinary and involves a systematic search of crime scenes. The identification process and collection of physical evidence. There is no, every contact leaves a trace, no matter how little contact is. For example, now you are sitting here, you are leaving a lot of evidence here. You are picking a lot of stuff and you are leaving a lot of stuff here. Our job is to find those things and make associations. That's what it is. Collection of physical physical evidence can be anything from massive object to microscopic trace material. <coughs> it may be necessary to take custody of all clothing worn by the participants in a crime. Critical areas of crime scene should be vacuumed and uh, sweeping submitted to the laboratory for analysis. A mobile crime scene vehicle carry supplies to protect crime scene photograph. For example, when I say uh, the critical area of crime scene should be vacuumed. <coughs> I, the, I'm, when I say I'm talking about the real cases, when I give examples. Uh, we have a, a, a case, it was a rape, rape case, uh, kidnapping and rape. The girl was drinking in a bar with the boyfriend and the guy who was sitting in a bar, he pretended that I am a diabetic I have left my medicine, I, am, uh, I have very low sugar, C can you drive me home? Sympathy. She, uh, she said, okay, I'll drive you home. When, she, when he got in the car, he pulled the gun and she, she was uh, blindfolded, moved to the back seat, and then he drove to an uh, unknown place and raped her. Now she was blindfolded during rape, everything. Uh, then what happened was, she was blindfolded, she has no idea. But then police investigation through the bartenders, they went to the bar, they say who was the person she was sitting with, finally they located, located the house. And she can't recognize because she has been blindfolded throughout her, uh, uh, way to that place and back and plus within the house also. So now our technicians uh, so, uh, vacuum the, so now the police was asked to interview, interview the victim 
tell everything start to end what happened. So if we can help. So then, and then they say, did you miss anything? Did you leave anything? She said, I have, a, uh, I was wearing eye contact, contact lenses. I am missing one contact. Up there, how small that is. So we vacuumed the whole this area where it happened in the whole room. It was uh, vacuumed, <coughs> all those things were brought and spread on the table. It took us about two weeks. When you say, we need to you don't want us to work. Our job is to solve the case. After two weeks, there were several fine pieces of that contact lens was recovered. And then we extracted the DNA, it matched with her. Now she is put into his room. See that, that's how cases are built. Here we are told, okay, we need two weeks. There's no such two weeks if you want the, us to do the right job. Firearm tool marks. Every gun and tool has a story to tell and that story is its form of mechanical fingerprint. Fire gun or mechanical fingerprint, just like our fingerprints. So you see those, uh, and this is a, uh, this is a lead, this is a bullet which we call, and uh, what you see here, these, these striations. So these are the ones, they are unique for every gun. And unfortunately here, people don't bring this uh, bullet to us, very few people. This is a wealth of information which you are seeing here. They bring the casing. Sure, that's also unique, but this is more more important. Fingerprints. DNA. Um, what happened was, let us say firearms. There are three types of evidence on that. There are three sections will work on it. Firearm will do the ballistics, uh, fire bullets, and that they will transfer. First, it will go to the fingerprint that they will develop fingerprints and they will after developing they will take photograph and then what then it will go to DNA because from that fingerprint we can find the DNA and then it goes to the firearm at the end so three sections there will be three reports person's DNA person's fingerprint and identification of gun Relation of bullets and cartridge cases, examination of evidence, ammunition, examination of submitted tools, restoration of altered, modified, or obliterated serial uh, numbers from the guns. We can restore those. Analysis of gunshot residue to determine muscle to uh, target dis uh, distance. How far the person was, target was, when there was fire. Your personal signature, fingerprints are your personal signatures. Latent print, patent print, plaster prints, forensic pathology. Forensic pathology is a branch of medicine that applies the principle and knowledge of medical sciences to determine cause, manner, and mechanism of death. Criminal violation, uh, violent deaths, homicide, murders, criminal violence, terror, suspicious death. Non-criminal death, accidents, suicide, death for, for, from sudden natural causes, industrial accidents. Forensic audio-visual analysis. Forensic video analysis is a systematic examination, comparison, and evaluation of audio and vi video in legal matters. G digital forensic. Computer forensic refers to the, those crimes that are being conducted using the internet or with the help of a computer. These crimes are also referred to as cyber crimes, high tech crimes, and technological crimes depending on the area in which they are being committed. Polygraph. The polygraph is a very good technique, but it is never ever used in any court of law but it is one of the, the best investigative tool, the best investigative. We have very, very good success with this thing. 
physiological changes, emotional changes, physiological changes in the respiration, blood pressure, blood volume and skin conductivity. These are the different features which we uh, uh, see during those tests. These are the tests of uh, polygraph. Establishing a database bank. Three databases has been established PFSA for keeping a record of the crimes and criminal firearm database. This is the first software which as I mentioned, this, this is a mechanical fingerprint. What we have this software and hardware, it, the 3D pictures are taken of the uh, bullets as well as the cartridges and we link for one case. Once any gun or bullet or casing has been received in this laboratory, if that has been ever resubmitted or that gun is used in any other crime, we will find out, we will know that. If we take, which is the most important thing like we have in America, that if we take, uh, which I have suggested to the government that all licensed guns before they are sold, they should, there has to be test fire. We need a bullet and the casing, so we will have a data. If that gun is used any place, we will know that. The second thing is police guns, which are government guns. They should be all for test fired and data should be stored because there are some of them, they use those guns in the crimes as well. But we do not have that, but we are keeping local data till the laws are changed. Uh, 2017 or 16 or 17, we have several cases which gun was submitted in res resubmitted guns. For example, uh, the gun was recovered from you and then later on she's arrested and the same gun is recovered from her. How it could be possible? But they do not know once gun is come, has come to us or bullet casing, we have uh, database plus physically we have initialed on that which they don't see that and they can't know where it is we'll recognize this gun has been ever so there was about uh, two three districts there were more than 35 cases where uh, guns were resubmitted so i we keep the data i i meet the chief justice and then we give them and action has been taken on those people similarly the drugs most of the time probably you all know that what i'm going to explain to you once a drug is tested report goes is positive for heroin for example then something happens between police prosecution or defense bar then they say okay now let's have a retest retest done when retest is uh, the, come, the, medicine, the drug comes, so it's, it's negative. Because we're going to test it because sample has been switched. But our policy here is any evidence like drug comes to us, blood or DNA or narcotics, a portion of the evidence is retained in the laboratory for 35 years for reanalysis. So then let's say there were three, three or four districts. 16 or 17 in this year, uh, Faisalabad, Chineot, and uh, Laya, Kans, Laya. Faisalabad, Chineot, there were more main districts. Then, five, five districts, five districts. On may say 123 cases, we have reports were gone positive for heroin from us. The reanalysis came from them. They were all negative. So now, we have the portion of the evidence on those cases. The, maybe we made a mistake. So, I asked the scientist to take the evidence out of those which we have portion retained. Reanalyze them. They were positive. Then I issued the report that uh, the, this evidence which we received for reanalysis, it does not represent the original case evidence. A portion of the original case evidence was retained in the laboratory that was retested. It is still positive for heroin. Then I met Chief Justice, I met Chief Minister. I think 83 IOs were terminated. 
So because we have a capability to find the forgeries and the evidence, we do that. But it is again, I worked in America for 40 years, but I'm telling you when analysis, reanalysis comes in, court doesn't allow. Court doesn't allow most of the time because if the laboratory is credible, they do not <coughs> allow. Very rare I've seen that. But here, a lot of cases of free analysis because most of you are defense bar, right? I can tell you what I teach in America how to question a scientific witness from defense point of view. I can tell you how to, what things you can bring up to uh, do your work. But this reanalysis, which I've seen here, that is not right because what I've seen, I should, I, I'm giving you the uh, real facts. So this is a firearm. We have so far 200 hits in a year and a half in this firearm, which those 200 cases were unknown. We could not know at all with this, uh, with this system. We were able to find a lot of big terrorist cases, quite several cases we have done with this system. Very huge cases for, for military intelligence and ISI. The other DNA data, the DNA database, the way we start, they all in America we started in 98. Uh, to, uh, 1998 DNA database was started. So far, the, in the beginning, the law was anybody who's convicted of violent crime, his biological or her biological sample will be taken and stored at the local level, state level, and the federal level at the FBI. But then, when the DNA proved that this is a very important, then the law keep changing that they mo add more crimes. For example, now in the law is anybody who is arrested, not convicted, there's a big difference, who's arrested, their biological sample has to be taken in America. And now, right now 16 million profiles are there, more than 280,000 cases has been solved with DNA which they have no clue who it is. So it pays big dividend about that. So that's what we want here. We should have a law. I think that the law is in pending in the assembly that we will need to add anybody who's convicted of a crime, their sample should be taken and stored in the profile into the repository. And any time case comes in, we will compare those if it's in, then we'll take it and redo the case and that's how the cases are done. <coughs> Eight satellite stations I already mentioned to you. Apart from crime scene processing, these stations also impart evidence collection training to the local police and other law enforcement. With all these efforts, coverage of crime scene at each divisional headquarters has increased from 150 to 200 crime scenes to 400 to 450 crime scenes, which is nothing. We should have more cases. For example, I mean, Faisalabad, last week we have only four cases. How can I believe that, that the four crimes happened in one week in Faisalabad? <laughs> so police mostly try not to call us. So we have to go on their invitation, otherwise we can't go, the case belongs to them. Performance of the satellite stations is uh, monitored at PFSA uh, headquarters around the clock. Cabinet committee on law and order reviews the performance of the, on a quarterly basis. Continuing education is mandatory once a year for every scientist. We do not have technicians in this laboratory. No <coughs> technician in this laboratory. Glassware, washing, cleaning is done by the scientists. No janitor allowed in the laboratory. They clean, scientists have to clean the floors as well. So that if we have technicians, we will sit down and technicians will be working. So that's not going to be happening here. So each scientist has to pass, that's another thing because requirement, every scientist, this is, you should mark this thing. You are defense worker, any scientist you get the report from, ask this question. Have you passed any, did you take any proficiency test? Did you pass or fail? If he failed, then you got the case. You won the case. Every scientist, has to pass annual approval approved by the National Institute of Standard USA. All we have 450 scientists, everybody takes a test from America, we buy that. 
result they send a case here everybody takes a case results go there and they, they publish the results and if somebody fails we take off from the case work immediately can't do the case work and then we have to review his old his or her old cases that uh, may be done mistakes retrain again do the proficiency if person fails twice we don't have a job and then however dna and sral sex has to pass two proficiency tests dna since it has a much more value then real scientist takes test every 180 days saal mein do do every 180 days dna analyst has to go through this test and pass the test before they can qualify these are the things you ask those people have you done it have you will find except this agency there's no agency in pakistan that will do this thing and they, i've been telling them to date we have more than 16000 officials of various law enforcement agencies have been trained by pfsa international cases this agency is not only we have been receiving cases from overseas also the credit we have only 5 years old age of this agency but our credibility with the grace of uh, allah almighty is that uh, this is police shooting for case from cleveland ohio usa we received a case three people were shot dead by the cleveland police and chief prosecutor were referred the case to pfsa to analyze the spent bullets and cartridges in this case pfsa report was admi admitted in the superior court of ohio this case was because there were two rare labs in america they have difference of opinion we analyzed our report was our report was uh, uh, we were uh, used as a reference lab scarlet yard we've done many very many cases for scarlet yard british citizen came to lahore and shot dead his mother in law and fled back to uk so we have done firearm dna and other uh, sections were involved in this case our report was used in the in the crown court london and this suspect was sentenced to life in prison 28 years triple murder case this is the same thing norwegian police and now the three norwegian pakistani citizens were shot killed in gujarat and suspect fled to through uae as for norway so they our team uh, they brought the csi team from aslo because they have no idea that we have pfsa here after th three months after the uh, crime has been happened so one of their embassy people came here they saw the lab they and said we don't have this kind of facility so send our, your team there our crime scene went to the scene the things which their team missed after 3 months we were able to recover some bullets spent bullets from the walls secret parts and we did dna and match the guns bullets with those guns and then uh, the conviction three people were convicted life imprisonment and the judge in this case and the prosecutor and the laboratory director from Oslo visited PFSA paternity testing case in Egypt young girl was uh, married and then she had a child and the and the husband says it's not my child i was asked by the judge from the, uh, uh, Egypt that can you do the test and we were able to solve that case high profile cases quota blast case <laughs> these were your colleagues your profession people the lawyers uh, suicide bombing and shooting in the government hospital of quetta on 8th august 16 causing 60 70 casualties and more than 130 injured supreme court constituted one member judicial commission comprising a supreme court judge justice kazi isa to hold an inquiry into the matter I visited the, the uh, this uh, on 21st of October. I went to Quetta myself with the team. The forensic experts, while examining the debris collected uh, from the crime scene, also found detonator and suicide vest. PFSA experts enhanced the quality of photographs of the suspect, suicide bomber, and handler. These photographs are published in the newspaper Reward Money. and informant inside enticed by the reward money came forward and identify the suspect 
which led to the arrest of the handler. This was the first case ever that handler was found because we identified through DNA after a handler was uh, identified, then he was arrested, then he told who this guy was, suicide bomber. And we have to confirm that we took his father's suicide bomber's uh, uh, sal uh, saliva sample and it matched with the suicide bomber. So we know that he was telling truth that the, this was uh, this man who was suicide bomber was his son. This is the guy you see. Uh, this is the handler. This is the suicide bomber. And we have been, we recovered these from a lot of videos seeing private, it's a very lengthy case. I, it took me about uh, 20 hours to go through these videos and we were able to find maybe this is the one, then we concentrated on that. Then we were able to enhance that thing. This is what was enhanced for this one. And this is, you see, uh, uh, this is what he was when he b uh, blew him up. Uh, if you see his uh, this hand, which is the right hand, and detonator was here, you see that, and his his hand like this. And I don't know why anybody did not notice because every uh, lawyer has a black jacket and a trouser. He is the only one with the silver and the black jacket. And we were able to even locate that two days prior to that where he bought the jacket. We took the receipts even, we were able to, where he bought the new shoes. There was Borjan shoes shop where the day before the suicide he bought the new shoes and socks. Jannat jaanle nave kapde jai den. And then uh, this case was solved. The Supreme Court Commission praised the dedication and the commitment of uh, PFSA and the government of Punjab. Inquiry Commission reported that the case had not been solved without the help of uh, PFSA and its staff. This is the uh, comments of the uh, 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 Justice Kazi sir. PFSA uh, dedicated ADG himself visited the crime scene with, the, uh, with his expert Forensic expert also examined the debris that had been collected from the crime scene of the blast and recovered detonator that had been used in the detonating the suicide vest, a very valuable piece of information. With the video recording of the suspect were also sent to PFSA upon the direction of the commission. The experts of PSSA managed to considerably <coughs> enhance and improve the quality of the recorded video images and produced photographs of the suspect which when photographs were published on the, the informant and enticed with the money reward came forward. Importance of forensic science. What became apparent in this case was that if video recording photographs had not been improved, enhanced and printed in the newspaper with the offer of reward money, if DNA testing had not been conducted and subsequent finding match and if the debris from the blast site had not been forensically examined, the investigation would not have been progressed. <coughs> so these are uh, continuing of the uh, Justice Kazi's comment. Certain organization and individuals rendered exemplary service. Uh, the following are found deserving for commendation. The government of Punjab for setting up the state-of-the-art forensic laboratory in a very short time and for immediate payment of the compensation. PFSA's director general and scientists proved to be thoroughly professional, competent, highly motivated, motivated and very dedicated. Balochistan owes them a debt of gratitude. Eleven different killing incidents with the weapons used in the shooting was detected through a firearm database as I mentioned earlier. Zaram case murder, you all know about that. Since 2013, nearly uh, 10,620 rape cases of minor girls were reported in Pakistan, which is very sad. Very, very sad. Only 112 convictions, which is again sad. 
poor investigative strategy and use of old convention and investigative tools are major reasons for low conviction rates. In this case, first rape and murder was reported in April 2015. After that, series of eight cases were reported. All girls were abducted and uh, outside their houses and in Kasur, Pakistan. Dead bodies were found in under construction houses, vacant plots or parks in the vicinity of uh, the area of abduction. Examination of DNA profiles obtained from vaginal swabs, clothing of all the raped murder girls revealed involvement of the same person in all incidents. So in eight cases, we all know, after second case, we know it's a serial rapist and serial killer. Serial rapist and serial killer. Last case was reported on January 9, 2018. A girl named Zainab Amin was abducted on J January 4, 2018. Zainab's body was also recovered from a heap of garbage five days later near her house. This incident caused widespread protests in the, in the country. Ninety suspects were produced at PFSA by the police in these seven cases. However, no match was found. When people say the police didn't do the work, in this case, police was very cooperative. They brought 90 suspects. We need a database what I'm talking about. 90 people are very, very rare to bring as a suspect to, do the, to the find those because it costs us more money. If we have a database, then it is very easy to find. Sure, it is an investment, but it, this investment is for, for future forever. So 90 suspect, we did not find anybody from them. Sam, then after that, what happened was when there was uh, riots and all those things, I sat with the chief, uh, 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 chief secretary and uh, uh, the IG police Home Secretary and the Chief Minister that I have idea that we can do this way and we will find it. Of course it is a lot of work for us. In PFSA it is a lot of work us, for us but we do need to find otherwise this guy will keep doing. They do not stop until they are uh, uh, caught or they die themselves but they never stop. This is a uh, addiction. So what I, I told them, the idea which is, it has been only done twice in the world before, in such cases, and we are the third one to apply. What it was, all that cases happened within the two and a half mile, uh, kilometer radius, all eight cases. So guess was, it's all again, guess is that the person is in this area, two and a half kilometer radius. So what we do is we start process of elimination. Eliminate all females. They are not our candidate. Eliminate children. Eliminate older people, older males. Only people what we see from the video is 25 to 35 years old male people are our candidates. That's all we need sample from them. We have to get from go door to door and get the samples. So now if we, how can we go to door to door because if somebody is in the house, he's not going to come far. We must, when we knock the door, we must know how many people of this age, male people are in this house. So we have to contact a census from federal government. So we got the census data for that, for, for that area, for every house that how many people, male people of this age in this house. So we deputed people from crime scene. I myself stayed three days, four days in the Kasur, and we st uh, start collecting uh, samples. All those, uh, our crime scene people, I think uh, 15 of them, uh, they were divided to three teams, and they start door to door. We start from their home, because a lot of time these people are uh, the, the relatives. These people of this kind, uncles, cousins, these are the people who do people, our neighbors, friends. I started with their family because I took the, myself took the, his uncle, his uh, uncle and chacha or mamu, dono ke. I, I start from you because we're going to take from the kasu, we should start from you. Every day we were bringing 200 samples 
and there were 25 people here, 24 hours working in the laboratory for DNA analysis. It will do, uh, it will take about 24 hours, we'll get the results from those. So we collected about 2,000 samples and 814 number was the lucky number for us, that this was Amran Ali. And you know how much it cost us? Guess, two crore. Chemicals, chemicals. Pe. Now, baki salaries are fifty-five people. Now, so the CCTV of the abduction was also named. So the, the award money was given this way, and then. DNA analysis performed on clothing, whatever. So then next, uh, I just explained to you this thing. These are our crime scene. Eight hundred fourteen sample was that of uh, Amran Ali, matched with the profile prepared in eight different cases. And this is him. What happened was because his his uncle knew when the picture was put it on the TV, Amran Ali's uncle identified him. This is his nephew. He told his mother that the reward money is one crore. This our kid is going to be caught anyway. Why not we should go forward and then we will divide 50 lakh, 50 lakh. Horrible <laughs> man. He's a good man. No, no, no. The government has said that. No, no, no. Look, he was going to go to 2 crore. He was going to go to 2 crore. He was going to go to 2 crore. But his mother has hidden him. Now, his daughter is going to ask him to shave. He has hidden his clothes. हमने तो भाई डीएनए से ढूंढा है वरना उसने तो छिपा लिया था आप पैसे भी नहीं मिले उनको नहीं मिले न क्यों कैसे मैं तो उन्हें बताया थोड़ा हमें हमें तो नहीं बताया लेकिन उसका बाप जो था वो मांग रहा था पैसे हमने डेंटिफाई किया देख जो बोलता है अगर अमेरिका में होता है ना ही हैस वहाँ जर्मनी में भी यही है अंडर सेवेंटीन यू कैन लीव देम अलोन नहीं तो यहाँ तो यहाँ तो ये वो करोड़ रुपए खुद मांग रहा रहा था कि मुझे दो पैसे सारा जगह डाउन सी करता बाप का अब ये देख लें ये आप ये जलुसों में था ये जब प्रोटेस्ट हो रहे हैं ही इस वन ऑफ देम एंड दिस आर द नेम्स ऑफ द विक्टिम्स Imran was by, produced before the trial court on 12th of February. Imran confessed to the raping and killing. He confessed to me I, when we brought him to the laboratory. He told everybody, everything. On 17th of February, an anti-terrorism court in Lahore Central Jail found Imran Ali guilty of raping and murdering Zainab and others. For the rape and murder of Zainab and other underage girls, the court handed him four counts of the death penalty, one life term, and a seven-year jail term, a 3.2 million fine. He was executed on the early morning of Wednesday, 17th of October. Green Town, uh, you people know about the Green Town? Yes. 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 मज़ा एक आप में से किसी ने केस में इसमें हैंडल किया इस केस को कोर्ट में तो गया होगा नहीं कोर्ट तो गया ही नहीं जब तो ही वाज आई थिंक शॉट तो सस्पेक्ट था ये था कि ये हुआ कि ये सात साल का बच्चा साढ़े में ही करके ही वाज हैंग्ड इन द मास्क इन ग्रीन टाउन तो जब मैं सैटरडे को वी आर क्लोज्ड सीसीपी लाहौर एंड एसएसपी केम एंड आई वेंट आई केम टू द लैब एंड दे ब्राउट वन यंग गाय विथ स्मॉल बीर एंड दिस इज अवर सस्पेक्ट एंड ही हैज कंफेस्ड इस टू सो आई आस्क हिम दैट ओके डिड यू डू इट ही से या आई डिड इट मैंने कहा ये झूठ बोल रहा है कि डर से मार के डर से 
तो आई आज द पॉलीग्राफ अवर एग्जामिनर टू गिव हिम अ पॉलीग्राफ बट डी एन ए टेस्ट विल टेक अबाउट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स लेट्स डू द पॉलीग्राफ पॉलीग्राफ टेस्ट क्लियर डेम दैट ही इज नॉट अ सस्पेक्ट ही हैज नो क्लू विद दिस केस एट ऑल सो आई आर रिक्वेस्टेड दैम के टेक हिम इन रिक्वेस्टेड ई कीप विद यू बट डू नॉट डू नॉट यूज योर थिंग्स वट यू डू so i will let you know tomorrow next day he was exonerated he was not the man he was not the man so i asked them now you do your investigative work bring people they brought 16 suspects and out of 16 we found one nobody on this planet except that man which we identified similarly with amran ali not only pakistan we say on this planet that's the, nobody will match other than this to ab ye jo case hum hai nadra ke aap fingerprint jab lete hain na nadra ke aapke case honge kai dafa challenge kare unko wo nahi kar sakte jhoot hai wo nadra cannot identify latent fingerprints ab is case mein humne jahan par rad pe latkaya hua tha to wahan ye palm print the we, we our scientists took those brought them they were palm prints number 1 nadra ke pa, paas palm ka data hi nahi hai 30% latent prints on the crime scene are palms wo to 30 35% pehle hi nikal do baki jo hai wo unko data nahi wo aise they na figure they can't identify ye partial print hote hain इन्होंने हमें कहा नहीं साफ्ट कापी दें हमने नादरा को भेज नादरा को इन्होंने भेज दिया नादरा ने आइडेंटिफाई किया नहु सम लेडी इन साहिवाल <laughs> मुझे आज दिन से पहले मैंने कभी लेडी साडमाइज कर दी नहीं सुनी मैंने भी अब देख ली पाकिस्तान में भी लेडीज भी साडमाइज करती <laughs> और वो भी साहिवाल से <laughs> ग्रीन टाउन आई है साहिवाल से दिस इज नादरा चैलेंज करें आई विल टेस्टिफाई ऑन योर बिहाफ मुझे कॉल करें देखो पाकिस्तान में एक चीज है बहुत सी चीजें हम मुझे हमें नहीं आती आई बिन डूइंग दिस वर्क फॉर द लास्ट फोर्टी ईयर्स लेकिन इसमें बहुत सी चीजें मुझे नहीं पता आई एम मोर देन हैप्पी टू कन्फेस्ट दैट मैं नहीं ये कर सकता मुझे नहीं आता हम कहते भी हैं लेकिन हमारा यहाँ ये है कि मैं हर चीज़ मुझे आती है पाकिस्तान में मेरे ऐसी चीज़ नहीं है कोई बताएं जो मुझे नहीं आती बस ये हमारा ये डिलेमा है पाकिस्तान में हर चीज़ का मैं मास्टर हूँ तो बात ये है सिर्फ आप चैलेंज करें इन चीज़ों को ये जो अगर है डाटा में किसने वेरीफाई किया है पता क्या होता है आपका काम बढ़ जाएगा <laughs> हम काम से नहीं डरते हम वी वॉन्ट द राइट थिंग गलत चीज नहीं होनी चाहिए हमारी रिपोर्ट जहां से गई है ना चैलेंज इन एनी कोर्ट एनी लेबोरेटरी इन द वर्ल्ड वी विल डिफेंड इट इसी तरह दूसरों को डिफेंड करनी चाहिए जो कहते हैं कि जी जिसका प्रिंट है और डिफेंड करो अगर नादरा में से कोई आके एक्सप्लेन भी कर दे फिंगरप्रिंट तो मुझे कह देना आके आप पेशमार केस होंगे आपके जो नादरा के जरिए आपके क्लाइंट जो हैं ये ये भी एक काफी हमारे पास तीन चार केस ऐसे पिछले साल आए हैं जी ब्रिटेन से आते हैं शादी करा के जाते हैं पहले वहां जा के जाने के लिए वहां पाकिस्तानी जो लेडीज हैं उनसे शादी करते हैं ताकि वहां के रेजिडेंस हो जाए दो एक बच्चे होते हैं फिर उसकी इंश्योरेंस लेते हैं देन दे टेक द इंश्योरेंस ऑन हर ब्रिंग हर ही किल एंड मैरी एन यंगर गर्ल ये हमने पकड़ाए हैं तीन चार ये भी उनमें से था ही इज़ वन ऑफ दैम एंड ही वाज कन्विक्टेड आल्सो ही हर लाइफ इन प्रेजेंटमेंट कॉरपोरेट सोसाइटी जो अभी आज ये बिल्डिंग है गवर्नमेंट की आग गवर्नमेंट की बिल्डिंगों को लगती है और किसी को नहीं लगती है 
वो गवर्नमेंट के कार्ड चलते हैं ना एल टी ए तो सारा ही फ्रॉड है शिपिंग जो हर हर साल 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 चलती है वो जहाँ इतनी करप्शन है ना ये इमरान का सही कह रहा है लेकिन उसके साथ भी अब करप्ट है हम कहते लोग कहते हैं जी वो उसके साथ वो कहाँ से लाए और बंदे मुझे बताओ हैं तो ये अब कॉपरेटिव जो सोसाइटी है इसमें आग लगी है हमारे पास आए जो जो डीवीडी आए थे डीवीआर उसमें उन्होंने भेजा तो वो जब देखा तो उनमें जो एरिया जो टाइम्स के है ना जिस जब जस्ट टाइम आग लगी है दैट हैज बिन रेस्ड तो हमें चाहिए हो गया कि ये कोई गड़बड़ है उसके बाद फिर हमने उन्हें कहा कंप्यूटर लो कंप्यूटर जब लेके आए हैं तो हमने उस कंप्यूटर में से या खुला हुआ है ना कंप्यूटर अब ये जो है ना वन एल पी वन ये अंदर की साइड पे है यू क्या आता है यू सी पी यू जो है ना उसके अंदर की साइड पे देर वॉज अ थम प्रिंट एंड वी आस्क दैम इसी तरह इसका डेटा बेस हमारे पास नहीं है फिंगरप्रिंट का जो कि होना चाहिए फिर हमें इसमें हमें 280 के करीब उन्होंने कहा कि सस्पेक्ट एक है 280 अकेली अकेली फिंगर उनकी चेक करनी है तो वी फाउंड दैट वन मैन इन्होंने हायर किया इंजीनियर है कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर है वो बी एस सी इंजीनियरिंग है हाफज कुरान भी क्वालिफिकेशन बिल्कुल फिट बह रही है हाफ <laughs> कुरान भी है इंटीरियर इंजीनियर भी है तो वो अब उसका फिंगर प्रिंट है ये उसका थम प्रिंट है अब वो अब वो अंदर कैसे जा सकता है अब देखें ना किसी ने खोला चूंकि इनकी हार्ड ड्राइव भी निकाल ली ना इन्होंने कंप्यूटर डर नाट हैव एनी हार्ड ड्राइव पहले प्लान किया गया है ना कि सारा निकाल लो ताकि कोई डेटा रहे ही ना तो अब वो पकड़ा हुआ है तो अब एक दो बंदे और भागे हुए हैं वो सुबह से पता नहीं मुझे पकड़े हैं या नहीं तो वो हमने तो अपना काम कर दिया है आफ्टर कंपेरिजन फिंगर प्रिंट ऑफ टू टू हंड्रेड एटी सेवन सस्पेक्ट वन लेटर प्रिंट मार्क्ट एट एल पी वन मैच विद हाफज अली इमरान सन ऑफ अब्दुल हमीद ये जो ये उसका नॉन प्रिंट है ये ये हमने जो लेटर प्रिंट है इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी ये ट्रेसा में प्राइम मिनिस्टर और यू के शी विजिटेड अवर लेबोरेटरी दिस इज हर कमेंट शी रोट इन विजिटर बुक ए वेरी इंप्रेसिव फैसिलिटी व्हिच आई एम श्योर विल लीड टू द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ मोर क्राइम्स एंड प्रोसिक्यूशन पर्टिकुलर इन टेररिज्म साजद जवेद ब्रिटिश होम सेक्रेटरी ये अभी ही जब बार्न पाकिस्तानी ब्रिटिश होम सेक्रेटरी बिफोर ट्रीसा में आफ्टर ट्रीसा में ही बिकेम द होम सेक्रेटरी ए वेरी इंप्रेसिव फैसिलिटी ब्रिंग ह्यूज बेनिफिट्स टू द पीपल ऑफ पाकिस्तान स्टीफन अटालियन एम्बेसडर ये केस हमने किया था अटालियन पाकिस्तानी वो बच्ची जो मर्डर कर दी गई थी अपने भाई और बाप ने उसे किया तो ये एम्बेसडर आया था देन विजिट द लैब थैंक यू फॉर वेरी वेरी इंप्रेसिव विजिट पी एफ एस एज ए ट्रूली वर्ल्ड क्लास स्टैब्लिशमेंट विद एन आउट स्टैंडिंग स्टाफ रियली यूनिक कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन गार्थ ग्लासबर्ग ही इज एग्जेक्टिव डायरेक्टर नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न एल एन एस रीजनल कैलेंडर शिकागो ही विजिटेड द लैब एंड दीज आर फ्यू कमेंट्स ही रोड बिग comment these are th- some few picture the tour of the laboratory illustrated the immense capabilities of pfsa the number of cases exceeding 100000 per year was Im- impressive indeed the capabilities of staff were nothing short of amazing i don't know of one laboratory that can do what is done at pfsa outside the fbi lab this is world class operation it is a player seeing a professionalism 
of the staff and management. PFS is top notch and this is due to the people involved in the whole process from evidence acceptance to the upper management. I talked to several of the section supervisors, all of whom are uh, proud and enthusiastic. Julian Stelter, Assistant Commissioner, Australian Federal Police. This laboratory is a remarkable achievement. The benefits to the people of Pakistan will be immense. Congratulations. We look forward to working with you. Terry Gilbert, he is one of you guys, Terry Gilbert. Uh, he is a defense attorney, very f <coughs> top 10 attorneys in the United States. He is one of them. Mm -hmm. When people, scientists, go in front of him, they shiver. Scientist, when we testify, he visited the lab. The tour of PFSA was the highlight of my trip, uh, short trip. I can't tell you how impressed I am with what you have been able to accomplish in building this state-of-the-art facility. I can only hope that the other branches of the system, including the law enforcement community and the courts, appreciate how fortunate Pakistan is to have a, such a wonderful facility that puts to shame most of the labs around the world, including those in my own country. <laughs> Tim Shelberg, FBI. I was amazed at the scope of the project. You are a model for the world. I look forward to hearing about all your future successes. Campbell McGee, Interpol, Ian, France. Fantastic facility, the best I have seen. Roger Baldwin, he is the director of the Scotland Yard Lab. We will give up everything and anything to have this kind of facility for Scotland Yard. Anthony Ferrello, Interpol. Impressive facility, the best forensic institute I have visited. The rest of the world must know the existence of this institute. Thank you very much. Non I could ban the international training program to eighty ki janit se atuman to so much welcome or Hosusi to a doctor of an Ashra Tahesa Joki Mashala, a Nam hai, forensic valise or in his services to Sakichari Salsi Lata or Unoni district as I mean, welcome here, I mean, Bob Kushi. I am a Chutasa request to get Tanjari take a Tira Tariko on law, I could bar me, Johnny official letter we have requested here, Usme Ham Bahaki, Yahamne limited. हमें जात थी 100 लोगों की तो हमने उसको पूरा किया है वहां हम चाह रहे हैं कि जो लॉयर्स रह गए उनको भी ट्रेनिंग के लिए हम आपसे रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं और साथ-साथ यह है कि हमारे यह सिलसिले तकरीबन हर महीने हम दो वर्कशॉप्स करवा रहे हैं लॉयर्स के लिए दूसरे ट्रेनिंग्स के लिए हम चाहते हैं कि इसको मंथली बेसिस पे अगर हमें मौका मिले ताकि वो डिफरेंट टीम्स हैं वो हमारी आना चाह रही हैं उनके लिए हमें मौका दें उसके साथ-साथ हमारा जो मेन हमारा मकसद यह होगा कि हम मिलकर कोई प्रोग्राम जो है एक जो प्रोफेशनली जो भी लॉयर्स जो हैं इनको बहुत ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत है इस मैदान में और जदीद है हम आईटी की दे रहे हैं एजुकेशन दे रहे हैं फ्रेंसिक की को मिलनी चाहिए तो उसमें आप हमें सजेस्ट करें कोई कोर्स जिसमें हम इनको प्रॉपर तरीके से गाइड करें और उसकी वजह से कुछ ट्रेनिंग्स हम लाहौर हाईकोर्ट में रखेंगे और जो आप समझेंगे कि जहां ट्रेनिंग के लिए हमें आना है तो हम इंशाल्लाह उसके लिए आएंगे और उसमें हम चाहेंगे कि सर्टिफिकेट प्रोग्राम जो है जैसे आज तो हमने हाईकोर्ट बार के जानिब से इनको सर्टिफिकेट्स दिए हम चाहेंगे कि फ्रेंसिक के जानिब से मुश्तरका सर्टिफिकेट्स जो हैं वो इनको दिए जाएं ताकि ट्रेनिंग में इनको काम आए उसके अलावा मैं शुक्र अदा करता हूं जनाब मोहम्मद तैमूर चौधरी साहब का सेक्शन सुपरवाइजर ऑफ कॉटेक्स का जिन्होंने हमारे पहले बैच को प्रॉपर रिजिट करवाया लैब का उसके साथ हमारे डॉक्टर इरफान आशिक साहब थे डिप्टी क्वालिटी मैनेजर साहब उन्होंने दूसरे ग्रुप को लैब का करवाया उसके अलावा जो आईएएस अमीन साहब ने मैनेजर ट्रेनिंग में हमें स्पेशली अलाउ किया जब हमारी तमाम कोरिस्पोंडेंस हमसे चल रही थी और आपकी परमिशन से हमें आज मौका मिला तो हम थैंक्स ना करें तो मुकम्मल ही बात तो हम चाहते हैं कि एक हमारे सीनियर हैं वो आपको पेश करें डॉक्टर साहब को सबसे पहले रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा जनाब डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अशरफ जोहरी साहब को आई कुड बात की जानिब से एक छोटा सा सीनियर I 
मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा चौधरी साहब से सेक्शन सुपरवाइजर नारकोटिक्स के वो आप अपना स्पीकर जो है वो रिसीव करें सैयद गुरु बुखारी मिस परजीन फातिमा मिस्टर नदीम एंटोनी सलमान उल्लाह खान साहब खान साहब